All right, this one's going to be on Caliber, which I talked about in the past. Uh, it is a way to manage your ebooks, all right? And I started using the GUI more often, and <laughs> this was actually a feature in there. I don't know when they added this, but you can actually share your books over the internet. Um, so it's actually really convenient if you have like a a smartphone or tablet or laptop, whatever you can you know connect to the internet with. Uh, you can actually use this. Uh, with your browser, right? So this is my library that I have, right, of comics and stuff. Uh, so what you can do is share with it. So let me go to preference here, and they have the sharing over the internet option here. And in here, um, you can do some stuff with it if you want to put a password or a username, uh, even different ports if you want. But let's say we just keep it by default, and we can start the server here and we'll wait for it to start there you go uh, you can test out the server so we'll go test and this will connect it uh, locally right they're using the uh, 127001 whatever uh, but this is how the layout will look like if you're using it from you know one of your external uh, devices like laptop or uh, smartphone or whatever and you can see you can browse your books in here and you can get your books if you download it you say get right uh, so that's how it looks like. You can see your ratings, you can see the details of the book if you want. Um, what else can you do? Let's go back here. If you, want to see, if you want to see the newest one that you've added, right, you can do that. Or artist, publisher, author, ratings, you can do by ratings. Uh, you can even search. So if you guys search for, I don't know, Silver Surfer. Then I'll just go out and get those results only. Um, what else do they have in here? We go all books, and you can see that they have the old style. They do have an old style that they used to use. I didn't really know they had this before, so I didn't never use this before. All right. Uh, other stuff like mobile. So if you're using like Android or um, iPhone things, you can see it like this. Um, so that's how that looks like and what else you can do in here I think that's about it but you know uh, I like it um, before I was just syncing it like normally but now I think I'm gonna use this uh, and host it from my uh, desktop as a server now when you're connecting um, let me go back here you know when you're connecting to this you don't use this IP okay this is your local so it only works on this computer that I'm at when you're connecting uh, to your server, because you're running your server right now, so you see it's running. Make sure that Calibre is open when you're doing this, alright? So make sure it's running and the library that you want is open. And when you connect to uh, the address, uh, if you don't know your IP that uh, you know your router gives out, uh, it should be in your router settings or whatever. But if you don't know it, let me give you um, how it looks like here. So let's get a new one here. All you gotta do is type in if config, uh, and then we're just gonna grab out the, the important parts. Otherwise, you'll get confused. But the ones that you want is the inet address, right? We're just gonna grab out this one. So this is the the IP that you want to use right here, because uh, this is the device that it's, you know the server is on. So this is the network portion, and this is the, the device portion. So you type that sucker in. So for my IP, this is the router that you know assigns it to this computer. And all you gotta do is you know paste that in here when you're doing um, it from your laptop or your Android or whatever it is. And make sure you put in the right ports. Okay. So the port that we're using, the server port, is 8080. So make sure you put a colon. Oopsie. What the hell? Put a colon. And then 8080, right? And, and that's how you would connect to, uh, you know, your Caliber server with all your, uh, you know, comics or whatever you, you put, you know, your books that you're reading. So that's how it's done. And uh, I thought that was a great feature. I don't think I'm going to sync it. Uh, well, I have to sync it because I don't have wireless on my e ink reader. But, um, you know, if you have a wireless device, you can use that. Much more convenient than, you know, manually doing it. Anyways. Um, Caliber if you're using it